All right, Shalom, Shalom, Kwame Asha'Allah. I just want to give all praises, glory, and honor to unto Yahweh Bahashem Yavashai, Bahashem Raka HaChodash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone of uh, GMS. Uh, to you, I say Shalom, and Shalom unto the hopeful elect Kwame Asha'Allah and Abad Babal. All right, so I just want to uh, go into this article. It's been out for a while now, but um, it's still relevant, um, and it pertains to uh, biblical prophecy. Going into uh, to him that leadeth himself with thick clay. Uh, that's pursuing to um, Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 6. And uh, you have a wise man out of Teman going into that. <laughs> a wise man of Teman. I'll say he's Teman for the most part um, because he's of Dutch descent. And we know the Dutch and the Germans, they're closely related. Their languages are very, very similar. West Germanic peoples. They're very, very similar. Uh, their cultures are very similar. So, you know, I'll say I'll say he might be a Temanite, man. And we know in the scripture that uh, Teman is very wise, uh, pursuing to Obadiah and uh, Jeremiah, the 49th chapter. So um, the wise men out of Teman. <laughs> Teman represents you so-called Germans, man. You guys are very, very wise. You're very smart. Very smart. And I believe Elon Musk is a Temanite. Um, but anyways, it says U.S. going bankrupt extremely quick. Musk. And it says here, the country spends more than a trillion dollars a year on serving its national debt, according to the tech giant. I'm sorry, it says, according to the tech billionaire. <laughs> the cost of servicing the vast U.S. federal debt now outstrips the defense budget. Wow. Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk has claimed in an interview with the All In Podcast he added that the country is going bankrupt extremely quick. Yeah, and it's circling down the drain really, really fast. Really, really, really fast. And um, I want to bring out a quick precept. This is Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 6. Shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, Woe to him that increaseth that which is not his. True, and that's what America did. They stole their riches. They stole resources. And in fact, they consume 70% of the world's resources. So in order for you to do that, that means you're stealing. You're taking. You're going into other people's countries and dominating them and taking them over and oppressing them. So the scripture says, woe to him that increases that which is not his. Amen. And also, you stole the tribes. You stole the Lord's chosen people, the Israelites. You so-called Negroes. Latinos and Native Americans. So he has to pay for that. Okay, so he, he took the Lord's riches. He took the Lord's jewels. So the Lord's going to judge him for that. And for all the rest of the atrocities and crimes that um, he has committed. Onto the people and onto the planet Earth. So it says, which is not his. How long? And to him that ladeth himself with thick clay. And, you know, how long? How long is this going to go on? And um, we know it can only go on for so long. Him oppressing the people and printing money out of thin air. You know, this dollar is pretty much worthless, right? And they're just printing money out of thin air and the dollar is not backed by anything. And they're no longer backed by a petrodollar either. So they're going down really fast. They're going down really fast. So how long? How long do we have to suffer this place? How long do we have to suffer these people be in power? And um, it's coming to an end real soon. It's coming to an end. I, mean, I believe the scripture says, He shall perish like his own dung. Matter of fact, let me get that. Um, I know that's in Job. Perish like dung. So this is Job chapter 20, verse 7. I'll start here. I'll start at verse 5. Job 20, verse 5, that the triumphing of the wicked is short. That's right, the triumphing of the wicked. And who is the wicked? That's pursuing to, I believe, Malachi, uh, the first chapter and the fourth verse on down. We know that the wicked is Esau, Edom. So it says the triumphing of the wicked is short. Yeah, it is. And going back to... Uh, Revelation, the 20th chapter, and the 7th verse on down, and also Job 9, 24, 
what does it tell you? You know, Job 9.24 said the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So what does that tell you? He's ruling. When you go into Revelation 20 verse 7, it says that he deceived the whole earth. The wicked. That devil Satan, man. <laughs> but it's for a short time. So eventually, he's going to go down. So it says the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. And this devil is a hypocrite. You know, this guy's a hypocrite. First, he tells you, you know, things have to have value, but look how this guy's running the economy. You know, they teach you that in school. It's about quality, not quantity. Your teachers tell you that. You grew up hearing that. Your coaches told you that. You know, if you don't put in the work, if you don't put in the time, you're only cheating yourself. But look at how this economy is ran. <laughs> Putting money out of thin air. So they're doing the exact opposite of what they're teaching you in the public fool system. <laughs> this guy doesn't even follow his own um, his own teachings, man. This guy is uh, printing money out of thin air. So to him, it's all about quantity, not quality. Because if it was about quality, he would have backed his dollar up. By a precious metal. Or an oil, right? And he is no longer doing that. Okay, he's no longer doing that. It's not backed by gold or silver. There's no petrol dollar. I have to look more into that, though, that petrol dollar. They might have come up with a solution, but um, I have to look into that. But we know they got rid of that contract with Saudi Arabia and those other um, Arab states. But yeah, this guy's a real hypocrite, man, an actor. He's a pretender, and he's also pretending to be righteous when he's really wicked. But it says here, and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment. So it's it's not going to last forever. And uh, that's what Elon is talking about. Right? Uh, verse 6, though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach onto the clouds. Yeah, man, you saw that with, you see that with America. Come on, man. If you're a nation that's consuming 70% of the world's resources, you're on high, man. You're on high. That means you got it. That's why they have a saying in, for the state of Texas, everything is bigger in Texas. Why is that, man? Because they have a lot of substance. They have a lot of resources. Why is that? Because America is so strong. And that's why certain states in America are so strong. All right. But still, um, they are on high, America. They have an embassy, a, ba a military base, or military bases all around the world. They're on high, man. They're in their glory. Verse 7. Yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? Yes. And there's a few things that are, that are going to lead up to that. A few major prophecies that are going to lead up to this. The financial collapse. Um, America being destroyed by thermal nuclear destruction. And Yahweh Shai and the angels coming back. And you're going to really see this guy perish. And that's another thing, man. You don't care about your shit. Or your poop. Or your feces when you flush it down the toilet. You don't care about it. Come on, man. After you take a number two, you wipe your ass. You, 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 you throw the tissue in the toilet. You flush the toilet and you wash your hands. And you go about your business. You don't come back to the bathroom or the restroom and you look up, you you, you uh, lift up the toilet seat and you look in the toilet and see, where did my doo-doo go? I wonder if it's okay. Nobody's going to give a damn about this devil when he goes down. And that's why he's going to perish like his own poop. And that's a bad way to go out. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? That's, that's right. Is this the man? <laughs> is this the man that made the world tremble? He ruled the nations in anger, starting with the so-called white man who rules over America. Is this the man? Which is really the elite bankers. That's what people are going to say. Is this the man? Oh, America, you have fallen so low. Verse 8. He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. Wow. So it's going to be like a bad dream, like a nightmare. You know, you... When you wake up out of a nightmare, you're like, oh my gosh, 
I'm relieved. Like, Thank God that's not real. That's how it's going to be like when this devil goes down. It's just a bad dream. And once we come out of this American nightmare, that's it. We're never going to go back and experiment. Experience. Not experiment. Experience. <laughs> uh, um, you know, that persecution. That sorrow. Once it's gone, it's gone. Verse 9. The eye also which... Uh, which uh, say him shall see him no more, neither shall his place any more behold him. Yeah, it's true. Now I want to go back. I don't want to read too much into that. I want to go back to the article. So it says he added that the country is going bankrupt extremely quick. And that's pursuing to um, Habakkuk 2 and 6, uh, which is going into the thick clay. The U.S. Treasury announced in late July that the national debt has had surpassed $35 trillion, having soared by a trillion in a six-month period. And that's very spiritual, six months. Six months. That's the number of men. Reminds me of the Mark of the Beast, 666, the MOTB. And I should tell you, man, that's, that's what's going to, that's going to be the solution. Bringing in the MOTB. The MOTB, pursuing to uh, Revelation 13 and 16 on down, and also going into uh, Revelation 14 and 9 on down, that's going to wipe the slate clean. Because it's going to be impossible to pay $35 trillion back. Let me go into the debt clock. Let's go into, I have it pulled up here. U.S. National Debt Clock. Okay, debtclock.org. Uh, so this is a uh, state debt clock, world debt clocks. Now this is the U.S. national debt. So it passed 35 trillion. It's over 35 trillion. So debt per citizen: 104,859 dollars. That's what every citizen has to pay. <laughs> and not everybody's rich. Not everybody has. $100,000 in the bank to splurge like that. Yet alone give it back to the government. Give it to Uncle Sam. Nobody wants to do that. So nobody's going to pay that back, man. Nobody's going to pay that back. S especially the working class. The working poor. They're not going to pay that back. They're living check to check. <laughs> so, you know, nobody can pay that back, man. So what's the solution? The MOTB, man. That's the solution. Right? So it says, In June, the U.S. House of Representatives passed its version of the annual defense policy bill that authorizes a record $895 billion in spending marking an increase of 1% compared to the previous fiscal year. Interest payments on the national debt are now higher than the entire Defense Department budget and rising. Must said, warning that the U.S. is going bankrupt extremely quick. The tycoon stressed that every trillion dollars of debt added is money that our kids and grandkids are going to have to pay somehow. Ah, somehow, some way, right? <laughs> Good luck with that. And that ain't going to happen, man. You know, this place is going to be destroyed before your grandkids come. So good luck with that. But this is what Elon Musk is saying. This is what he is saying. And I believe he's teaming. Matter of fact, let me get uh, Obadiah, um, the wise man out of teaming. Better listen up. He's a teamonite. I'd say in the spirit, he's probably a teamonite. So this is, I could be wrong, but um, he's of Dutch ancestry and the Dutch and Ger Germans are closely related. You got the Netherlands, you got Deutschland. Cultures are very similar. So uh, Obadiah chapter 1. Uh, I'm going to get to the point. Uh, I'm going to start at uh, verse 6. How are the things of Esau searched out? Are, are his hidden things sought up? All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him. That's right, everybody's going to turn against you, the Confederacy. Uh, that Confederacy is found in Psalms, the 83rd chapter. Right, and that's that Confederacy. 
also that's found in um, Revelation the 17th chapter America America which is the woman uh, dressed in um, purple she's on the the red uh, the red beast the dragon that represents NATO and the EU right and America's over NATO when he's over the EU All right he's over them over those European nations so uh yeah though that 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 beast is going to turn against America oh a skunk my windows open I smell a skunk man Ugh, that's awful I got to close my window give me one second okay all right here we go it says here verse 8 here's the point Shall I not in that day, saith the Lord, Yahweh, even destroy the wise men out of Edom and understanding out of the of the Mount of Esau? And thy mighty men, O Teman, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. That's right. So we know um, there's, not gonna, there's not gonna be any understanding in this man, especially his wise men, being uh, you Germans, you Temanites. You're not going to have no solutions. You're not going to be able to fix the problems that you're going to face in the future concerning your destruction. Right? So what are you going to do? So here you go, man. You got a wise man out of team and warning you about uh, what's going on in America. And, um, you know, he, he doesn't see a future for America. The future is looking grim. All right, so this is a wise man out of Teman saying that. Uh, matter of fact, let me get uh, Jeremiah 49, verse 7. Uh, this is Jeremiah, chapter 49, verse 7 here. And it says, prophecy against Edom. Edom being you so-called whites. Okay? You are the Edomites, you red people. And your seed. That's scattered all over the earth. This is a prophecy against you. And that's what we're here to do. We're here to prophesy the downfall of your wicked kingdom. Prophesy the downfall of you Edomites. I believe that's um, Jeremiah 28 and 8. That's what we're here to do. We're telling you you're going down, man. So it says concerning Edom, thus saith Yahweh of armies, is wisdom no more in Teman? Is counsel perish from the prudent? Is their wisdom vanished? <laughs> yeah, and it's going to be that way. When you go down, you're not going to be able to save yourself. All the great thinkers you have, men like Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla, CEO of Twitter, which is X, CEO of SpaceX. Okay, this, guy is, this guy is a serious man. He's a serious thinker. And all the other thinkers that are out there that come out of Teeman. You know, their thinking power is not going to be able to deliver them in the day of their destruction. And that destruction is coming by Yahweh Bashem Yabushai. You know, this destruction is coming from the fourth dimension. <laughs> How do you stop that? How do you stop that? Um, but anyways, man, let me... Uh, Go into Isaiah 47. Um, you get Isaiah 47 here. This is Isaiah chapter 47, verse um, 12. I'm going to start at verse 12 here. Isaiah chapter 47, verse 12. Stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. Because that's what you trusted. Your wise men, your scholars, your great thinkers. You know, they trust in um, they trust in witchcraft, they trust in astrology, they trust in stargazing, they trust in prognosticators, they trust in the things of the left hand side. But that's not gonna profit them in the time of the destruction because the Lord's gonna take those evil spirits away from them so they get no answers. Because the time of the wicked ruling is up. And we read it earlier, the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment, roughly paraphrasing. So yeah, man, so it says here, 
hast labored from thy youth, if so be, thou shalt not be able to profit, if so be thou mayest prevail. Thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. Can't save you from the financial collapse. It's inevitable. It's going to happen. It doesn't matter if you get a witch and a warlock to open up your mind to come up with some way to bring forth some type of austerity measure to 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 halt the debt, to halt the spending. It's still going to go down. It doesn't matter what they do. This place going down is inevitable. It's going to happen. Verse 14, Behold, they shall be as stubble, the fire shall burn them, they shall not be delivered themselves. They shall not deliver themselves. I mean, deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a coal to warm at, nor fire to sit before it. Thus shall they be unto thee with whom thou hast labored, even thy merchants from thy youth. They shall wander every one to his quarter. None shall save thee. Wow. And that's it. America's done. And you can't stop that, okay? You're going to burn. Your economy is going to collapse. America is going to go up in flames. And the Lord is going to come back and usher in the kingdom of heaven. All right? That's it for you. Now, I want to get um, Second Ezra's. Second Ezra chapter, um, I believe, 16 and... Um, 21. This is uh, 2 Ezra chapter 16, verse 21. It says, Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case, and even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. Wow. Yeah, victuals. You know, right now, um, your leaders, they're telling you that the economy's fine. Oh, yeah, you can spend and do things. But it's not looking too good, man. Now, the debt increased. You know, if the debt is increasing, that means you, as a citizen, your debt increased as well. Right? And it doesn't matter if you, if you get a job. You know, the standard of living is high. They may be giving you jobs, but the standard of living is still high. Right? It's, it's getting harder and harder for you to live. Right? Uh, and the word victuals goes into provisions. You know, provisions, they're given to you to... It, it's like a temporary thing. Like, you're not supposed to live on rations or provisions. You, you know, you're supposed to be eating a, a full-course meal. Right? You're not supposed to be eating provisions. And that's what victuals are. And that's why they have the dollar store. That's why they have these deals out here, these sales. To appease you people. You goyim. You sheep. And that's to put you to sleep, man. You might go to Pizza Pizza. Oh, we got uh, two for six. <laughs> right? You got, uh, you go to McDonald's. You got the, uh, the dollar menu. We got a value meal. Five forty nine. You can get a cheeseburger and some fries, man. You people eat that up. You people eat that up. Oh, we're in good case. I can afford this food. You go to the dollar store, you can get yourself some chips. You can do your grocery shopping there. But that doesn't mean that the economy is doing good. Because now, when, when, you, when you buy those items, whether it be at the dollar store, you're not really getting the bang for your buck. Due to something called inflation, which is really shrinkflation. That's what you're experiencing now. Right? <laughs> You know, you go into a bag of chips. Ten years ago, it was 100 grams. Right? Now, ten years moving forward, in that same bag of chips, it's the same price. But now, it's 70 grams. So, it's at a lower volume. Okay? Well, I'm still saying the so I'm still uh, paying the same price, but you're still getting ripped ripped off. You're not getting the bang for your buck. You're not getting the same as you did ten years ago, and that's insane, man. That's stupid. Things are supposed to be getting better. 
not worse. So it says that they shall think themselves to be in good case, and even then shall evils grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. That's right. And that's what you're going to experience. The sword is death, which is the modern day gun, the weapons by the military, and these different uh, forces that are out here. Famine, people are going to die of hunger. And then there's just gonna be great confusion on the earth, man. You're not gonna you're not you're not gonna know who to trust out here in these times of trouble. Yeah, man. So, anyways, I just wanted to bring that out. And uh let's see here. And then to Habakkuk 2 and uh 6. You know, I want to read this again. Shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say woe to him that increaseth that which is not his? How long? And to him that ladeth himself with thick clay. That's right. And that clay is that debt. This country is in debt and everybody is in debt. All right. Don't you forget it. And that's what Elon Musk is talking about. That's why he's saying the U.S. is going bankrupt extremely quick. Alright, so anyways, with that, just want to give all praises, glory, and honor. Do one, two. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, HaChadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone of GMS, TOSA, Shalom, and Shalom unto the hopeful elect, Kwame, Shalom, and Abba, Shalom.